I've brought you to one of my favourite canoe hanging trees. An absolutely fantastic oak tree. When I go out, I take a little rucksack and I've got a few extra bits and pieces in there. I got the tree loop, which is uh, available on the website. I normally take an extra carabiner, a nice heavy shackle for throwing rope up and over tree limbs. The standard four meters of hanging rope and also I take a coil of extra line in case I've got to go up very high for hanging the cocoon. So now I'm just going to show you the basics of hanging one. If you can, it's always nice to throw your rope over a part of a tree that has a fork in the branch. The fork stops the rope from slipping into a position where you don't want it. So I'm just going to try and get this first time through the fork. There we go. That's got me a carabiner in the right place and a hook map cocoon on there. That probably started off at about that height. We're going to wrap around the tree. Put a bowline in the line, which I've already shown you. And tie it off into position. Now, at this point, I'm going to introduce my extra snap clip. And this is used not so much for a day kind of trip out, but for a more permanent hang. So we just use that knot so that I can position an extra carabiner in on the line. Then by utilizing that carabiner back to the tree, I can vary the height which my hanging carabiner sits at. Okay, so one of the things you must always do is to test that both the branch you're hanging it from and the knots that you've tied will take your weight and the weight of whoever else might be joining you. So that's all good. Oop. Stick the cocoon on there. Nice and low. Just check that that's going to pull us into a position that's the right height. Might be a little bit low, but it's good enough to test this, I think. That's a little bit too low, so I'll just adjust that for a second. Okay, so that's the basics of hanging. Remember, fork in the branch if you can, and the loop and knots to create a two twin position for the cocoon so you can handle it at ground level and then put it at the right hanging height. Just to give you a hint, the correct hanging height really is with the cocoon just above the back of your knees. That means that you can just sit down into the cocoon really comfortably, and to get out of the cocoon is just like getting out of a chair. So that's the kind of right height, right kind of mode for it. I'd like to also show you, at the base of the cocoon, we've got the drain hole. The drain hole works in a slightly different way in that it's not the lowest point of the cocoon. So there's something else that you should need to know, which is when you're not using the cocoon, just drop it down to ground level hook one of the external loops at the rear of the cocoon onto your carabiner. Pull the cocoon back up to its high setting. Then you've got the cocoon hanging correctly. It's not going to fill with water and you'll minimise the amount of UV that hits the cloth. Okay. I already talked you through the ideal height for a cocoon so that you can just sit into the cocoon and step out of it. Never be tempted 
to get into a cocoon this way because the cocoon will shoot away from you. Same deal when you get out of a cocoon, never get out using your feet because you're going to fall flat on your face and be a very unhappy bunny. Okay, that's pretty much it. Everything you need to know about hanging a cocoon. Whether you're doing it inside for total relaxation or outside on a day trip for a whole load of fun, I'd just like to wish you a happy cocooning time. Bye for now.